Hi, this is Frederick Justin Lim. This is ACT in one minute. They say that one of the biggest factors in promoting a child's future is their school. That's true. ACT is where I picked up hobbies and things that I loved, where I met and made so many of my friends, where I started treading the path to my future. The teachers and staff here always know how to make me feel at home. Ever since the pandemic, most of us have been put into difficult situations. Jobs were scarce, students like myself have been kept at home. However, in these trying times, ACT provides the best learning experience with its flexible learning program. The teachers are still as friendly and as caring as they were, even when it is a little different now. I'm so glad to be able to grow in ACT which for me is one of the best schools you can send your kids to. That's one minute. See you around, Asianista. Hi, y'all. It's Teacher Janelle. I know you're here because you're wondering. You want to know how to write a script for the short vlog or the short video that you just watched. Of course, I'm going to give you that because that's what you're here for. So now, I know that this is uh, vlogging or the, the video project has been prominent now, especially in this online classes or the blended classes, the type of education that we have now because of this pandemic, of course. But then again, we should not forget that when we have projects like videos, we should not forget the process of how it's done. So as teachers, we should not forget that the process of how the students create the projects is as important as the product. So we cannot just say or demand that they make a video and that's it. You find it out on your own. Well, sometimes that works, but if you do that all the time, that's not good. It is always wise to know what the project is, to know the nukes of the project. In so doing, you can easily present to the students the guidelines. And of course, it's much easier for you to craft the rubrics of the said project. Yes, it is important to have rubrics as well. Now, first you can ask your students to write a brief narrative or a descriptive paragraph or just let them write about an experience. That's the first thing you're going to ask them to do. Write about an experience. If, it's, if your project is about an experience, it actually depends on what your project is all about. So in my case, regarding the video you just watched, so it's about an experience, how they feel toward their school, their experience as a student in their school, in our school. So you can ask them to write a paragraph or two about it. It doesn't have to be an essay, but if your topic is about an essay, of course you go ask them to write an essay. Then second step, you can now craft the script. This is how my simple script looks like. So the components of that script, you have their numbers. You see numbers, of course. Numbers are very important, especially when you do the video shoot the order of how they are going to shoot their video, what to shoot first, what to do first, that is very important so they can not get lost. So it doesn't really mean that they have to always start with one. It actually depends on which one they're more comfortable shooting first. So they can just say, I'll, I'll do one first or I'll do three because I'm already here in this room. Next you have there, what is heard? So everything that you say, Everything that the audience or the, the is going to hear is placed in this column. Okay, so this is where you're going to transfer the paragraph or the essay that they wrote in. You're going to break them into parcels. You break them into components that would make up the script. 
And then opposite to this column is what is seen. So this is where the graphics, and I also include the directions. So the graphics and the directions. So if you see only very few columns for the script, it will be easier for it to see. I actually am tempted to add another column, but to make it look simple, so it's just here. So the dialogues and the graphics and everything that you need when you edit is displays right in this column. What you're doing now is you are breaking the essay or the paragraph into components that would fit your script. Then opposite the component that you just wrote as uh, part of the script, that is where you write the directions. What is going to happen when the speaker says this line? What are the audiences going to see when you say this line? What graphics will appear? Or what meme will appear? Something like that. So everything has to be planned. You don't really have to make a do-over every time because you still have to think, what, what is it that we're going to do again? So everything is now planned. Hey, I said plan. So there chances are this could change, especially when you get to the place where you're going to shoot, you'd find a better way to do it. Of course, you can't change it. You can't change it because it's a plan. So because you have a plan, you have a guide. And if you, because of your guide, you have found a better way to do it, then do it. You you don't have to say, this is what's in our plan. Go ahead, change it. If That is for the betterment of your project. All right? This is the very simple script that I can present to you, though I have a more complex one. But I'm going to talk about that in my the next time we made. In my next videos, I suppose. But for now, you are in for the simple script. Or simple tasks but I know that doing a video might not be a very simple task it depends actually on the skill of the student but doing a video with a purpose with the correct process is something that is an outstanding output but if students just did a video for the sake of having a video and no goal no objective we might have to start asking a question. What is this for? Okay. I want to show you how the components of the script are found in the video. So I'm going to break the video into parcels. I'm going to break it into components to show you how it is in the script. Here it is. Hi, this is Frederick Justin Lim. This is ACT in one minute. They say that one of the biggest factors in promoting a child's future is their school. That's true. ACT is where I picked up hobbies and things that I love, where I met and made so many of my friends, where I started treading the path to my future. The teachers and staff here always know how to make me feel at home. Ever since the pandemic, most of us have been put into difficult situations. Jobs were scarce, students like myself have been kept at home. However, in these trying times, ACT provides the best learning experience with its flexible learning program. The teachers are still as friendly and as caring as they were, even when it is a little different now. I'm so glad to be able to grow in ACT which for me is one of the best schools you can send your kids to. That's one minute. See you around, Asianista. All right, so that's it. So I think that's a very simple step to follow. This video may shed some light to a seemingly complex output. And I'll be glad if you're going to use this to help you with your vlogging projects, video projects. Alrighty, that's it. So this script, you can actually just add columns if you wish to add columns because there are things that you want to separate from what is heard and what is seen. Perhaps you want to add a column for sound effects or stuff like that. You want to 
separate the column for directions you can do that you can also add um, rows for um, the title you can also add rows for the names of the team members whose leader is doing this is doing that you can absolutely do that so this one what i'm showing you is your basis you can go more than what i presented so yeah that's about it teacher janelle once more and to tell for now bye bye